Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to add an organisation chart to SharePoint 2010. I'm going to use the SharePoint org chart control by Chinna Software Engineering. First of all we start off with a SharePoint list. It looks like this. We've got a person which is going to be our key. Uh, we've got a person's name which is what's going to be shown on the charts. We've got a picture of their photo. We've got their job title and we've got their manager and this goes back to their key here. Finally we have a column called is assistant which is a yes no field. Okay so we'll start off with a empty page. This is a web part page. Go to edit page, add a web part. We go to the category custom and then click org chart. Here it says there's no data found so we can click here to configure it. And we go to data source. First thing we're going to select a SharePoint list, it could be a database. Primary key, manager and the SharePoint list. So we go back to here, our primary key is person and our manager is manager. For the SharePoint list we'll go here and take a copy of the SharePoint list URL and put it in there. Now if we press apply we'll get a chart but it won't look very pretty. Because in this case we've named our fields person underscore name, person underscore photo and person underscore title we can go into look and feel and select a template style of photo left. Now we have a nice looking chart, but we still don't have the assistance in the right place. We go to the assistance option, we'll say the assistant field is assistant, and we'll go for a background colour of olive. Hit OK and stop editing. And here we have a nice looking chart. Find out more at www.sharepointorgchart.com